So Good gosh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Today, well, we're getting back on the road. We are crunching on UBTK5, as you guys know, and we're still trying to round up a few parts. So we got to make a special stop at a place that I think you're going to think is pretty cool. It's a new facility, and you guys are probably going to recognize these folks. So we're going to head over about an hour drive. We got Rocky on his way now. He's going to ride with me over there. We're going to go do this thing, show you a little behind the scenes of what's going on at this facility. You will see this shop tour and the parts we're getting. Hope you guys stay tuned. Hope you like what you see, and we'll see you in the truck. Job at AMD up here. Oh, yeah, it just happened. Did we run out? We haven't run out, but I get we're gonna run out before we get up there. Well, <laughs> this goes to show you this is unscripted. We're literally about to run out of gas right outside of AMD. Matter of fact, I think we just did. Well, say you rock. I love it. I don't. <laughs> I'm entirely unhappy about it. So we're trying to take y'all to AMD, and there it is, right there, right up there. It's good stuff. And we just ran out of gas. So we're gonna, well, walk down to AMD and figure it out. So we'll catch up with you in a minute. Let's show y'all we aren't kidding. There's rock. There's the truck, and there's AMD. I wish we were kidding. I wish we were kidding too. Really but we're gonna get it sorted out. We're gonna go do our thing over here at AMD. Maybe they got a sweet C10 we can build. Yeah, we're gonna go do our thing at AMD and then figure out the gas situation. So what's up guys, I'm Jason with AMD. Come on in, let me show you around. here with Jason from AMD and he's gonna give us a full tour of Auto Metal Direct their new facility let us know what they've got going on as far as parts go and I hear that you guys have a ton of square body parts coming out and some Dude, stuff that you can show us it's gonna be groundbreaking stuff. that's awesome it's gonna be killer. Yeah. well tell us what we're looking at right here in the showroom okay so the showroom here we're getting set up we just moved in but we're featuring our 63 Ford Galaxy we're doing all new sheet metal front Sweet. to back bumper to bumper we're doing Firewall, floor pan, outer rockers, inner rockers, brackets, all the under bracing. We're Man. doing the quarter panels, the wheel tubs. We're doing the trunk floor, everything. Wow, that's a full blown car. Yeah, yeah. You pretty <laughs> much take a 63 or 64 Galaxy and completely redo it. Man. Because we want to save those cars just like we have with the Mopars and the sure. trucks and everything else. Yeah. That's We're doing really, also really trim. Cool. You see the trim down here? Yeah. Something new we're doing with uh, CHQ. What else you got going on in here? So we're also featuring, we don't have a body shell for the fair lanes, but we're doing 66 to 71 fair lanes. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff for 66, 67 in now. This is a 69 Torino Cobra. Whoa. Yeah, so this is a Q code 428 Arizona car. Wow. Pretty good shape. Yeah. But we're doing all new sheet metal for this too. So we'll have hoods, we'll have fenders, doors, floors, everything in between. Man. Water panels, we've got those in stock. That is really, cool. So a really ton cool. of stuff for the Fairlane guys. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. You know I gotta ask about this over here. So this is- Cause this is cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this one here, we don't have a ton of stuff for it yet because there's so many like different variations, you know, short model numbers. Sure. But this one here, this one is special because it has the fiberglass shaker scoop and it's a 383 all numbers matching car. Wow, yeah. that's legit. 
But you know what we want to look at? We want to look at some square body parts. Dude, yeah, we got some stuff. <laughs> Let's go do that. <laughs> so they do have something truck related right here in their new lobby. Yeah, and to be honest, I just posted this on Instagram. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, follow us, Automail Direct. So the factory calls it light argent. Uh-huh. We call it light gray. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. It comes with a gold foil bow tie. Sweet. And we also offer, like, if you guys have, like, the deluxe truck, this came with a uh, chrome package. Mm -hmm. So it had the chrome overlay. It had the uh, chrome bow tie. Like, we offer the bow tie. We're working on the trim for the grill and the turn. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Square yeah. body guys, AMD's trying to take care of you. This is cool. Oh, and that's just a start. We that's just a start. <laughs> that's just a start. <laughs> well, let's go check it out. So here's our uh, new photo studio. Dude, this is cool. This is super cool. Looks like you might have a, uh, is that a square body bumper up there? Dude, this is the square body with the holes for the impact strip. Yeah. And I saw you guys needed one without. Yep. Yeah, that is really, really cool. So something new we're doing with AMD, when you go to our website, you'll be able to do a 360 image of all of our products. Oh, very cool. It'll be a slow rollout. Yeah. I just did all the gas tanks that we offer for the 7387 C10s, Blazer, Suburban. We've got it all. Yeah, that's and cool. And you go on there and just slide it across and see the whole thing. So if you want to see more, you know, without putting your hands on it, that's about as close as we can get. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. This room right here is where it starts? Yeah. Because yeah, so you got to get the pictures of it. Yeah, that is super cool. This is where it happens if you're seeing it on the AMD website. They're doing it right here. Good gosh. Yeah, dude, so. So we're in the new warehouse facility with Jason. Tell us a little bit about this place, man. This is insane. Yeah, this, this place is state of the art. So we just built this place, brand new for 2020. We're looking at about 320,000 square feet. My goodness. We brought everything in-house to where we have, you saw the photo studio. We also have our R&D section here. We'll have all of our prototypes, all of our test fitting all comes in house. Well, let's go take a look around, see what yeah. we can get into. A ton of inventory, and we're getting in containers from our manufacturing plant every day. Wow. We get about eight to 10 containers a week. Man. So it's a, it's a ton of inventory. Yeah. Just to keep up with the demand. So right now we're gonna go through our main inventory where you'll start off with the most sold products, all the A-movers. You'll see a lot of bumpers, yeah. quarter panels, hoods, tons of hoods. When I started working here, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen so many hoods in my life. Oh, I bet. It's unbelievable. A lot and, of folks buying hoods for classics. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's pretty killer. That's Trucks, cool. Trucks, muscle cars, Ford, GM, Mopar, all that stuff. So this is the future home of our R&D facility. It is about 45,000 square feet. We're not sure if we're gonna have enough room. Because <laughs> we're redoing all the square body stuff, so we have to have all the options for those. Be able to test fit our prototypes, get everything squared away. We're also doing short bed 73 to 79 Ford truck. Yeah. So you guys look for the bed size coming. We've got the doors working, new fenders, got a hood in the works. So we're, quite we're on a, it. Quite a few things. But we need the room. Yeah. So until we get settled for moving, this will be our R&D facility. Tell me a little bit about the trucks that are in here. So we have two of the uh, square bodies here. We just test fitted the bedsides on this guy. We're redoing the doors for these trucks and it's very tricky. So the yeah. doors on these trucks get a bad rap because either the top fits or yeah. the bottom fits. And most guys fit the bottom, cut the top, weld it in, you got a good truck. Right. Well, 
I'm still a little hazy on the details on this, but from what I understand, the 67 to 72 and the 73 to 87 trucks at the factory were built from the top down. Yeah. That makes for a lot of variations when you're trying to make a reproduction part that fits all the trucks. Okay. So we've been working for about a year and a half on getting these doors perfect, where they'll work on multiple years Very cool. and fit the way we want them to. Cool. So I'll show you some more about that. Yeah, here. please. Well, this is a sweet looking 73 to 80 right here. <laughs> this is like the old lady special. Six cylinder, three on the tree. I think it's got less than 60,000 original miles. Wow. It is clean. Okay, so Jason's told us a little bit about what you guys are up to on the square bodies, but this is my buddy Huck, and I want to hear it straight <laughs> from him. What are you guys doing for the square body guys on these trucks? So I'm really excited because these have always been my favorite truck. We're doing a new set of doors. We're retooling the doors because the only ones that are on the market now don't really fit very well. Sure. So we're hoping to refine that and make them fit a little better. Um, all the different bed size from all the different years, the little differences with the tailgate and the front bed panel, we're doing all those. Um, all the front, we're doing a specific front bed panel for both ends of the split because yeah. there was only one on the market before that. Um, and then, like I said, the core support and a few other little odds and ends. We're trying to get all the grills, all the emblems done. Um, yeah, we just checked out the 80 you got in the showroom up there. And yeah. yeah, that thing looks good. Yeah, so we're going to try to have every single grill option that they had back then. Yeah. So that's mainly the gist of it. But those, those will be pretty big, important parts, I think, because those are where the guys struggle. <laughs> a sewing machine. Oh yeah. Dude, that thing is so quiet. It is so quiet. So you guys are doing some really awesome work at AMD and definitely killing the classic game and, and, and like restoration period correct type parts. But you're also, it seems like you're also looking toward the future with modified parts as well so what are you what are you guys working on as as uh, far as that goes we're trying to so a bunch of us in the sales department are real car guys My, myself i'm a hot rodder i'm not a oem concourse guy so yeah stuff like this we're working on doing these bed floors already pre-made for the four inch wider wheel tubs for these pickup trucks so the top one's a 67 to 72 bottom one's 73 to 87 square body we already have been making the tubs for a couple years and the guys kept asking us, you know, hey, can you guys make the floor? Yeah. So we were talking about that and we finally convinced the owner that every single vehicle we make parts for, over the next few years, we're going to have bigger tubs for. And these trucks were some of the first we wanted to do. Very so cool. This gives you about 16 inches of clearance for a tire versus Man. the stock is like between 10 and 11. Yeah, right. So you can clear a much bigger tire here and you can just buy the bed floor already done. You don't have to worry about cutting in with them. And you also sell the wider tubs too, right? Yeah, we've got wheel wells. For, I mean, yeah, yeah. For 67 to 72 and 73 to 87. We got tons of them I'm actually in stock right now. Sweet. So. Well, thanks for looking out for us guys who like to modify stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> AMD for the win. <laughs> Not only did we come to check out y'all's really, really cool shop, but we came to pick up some parts for UBTK5. As you guys know, we're on the crunch to get this thing done. So you guys are helping us out with some parts today. So what are we picking up? So today we got you guys hooked up. We got a set of the front bumper brackets, front bumper in chrome, and then the rear paintable bumper. I know you guys are going to be powder coating that thing. So we got you covered on that. I yeah, can't you wait do. to see how that turns out. Well, we really, really appreciate it. AMD has been a big part of this build. Uh, not just in making it look better, but actually making it more structurally sound by providing all the patch panels for it. So we really appreciate that. Couldn't do it without Automotive Direct, man. Hey, we're glad to be on board, man. Thanks. Thank Jason and Huck, really appreciate the tour around a the new AMD facility. This has been really, really cool. So really appreciate you guys taking the time to let us know what's up, and particularly on the square body front. You know a lot of guys who watch the channel, they love square bodies, so oh, yeah. it's really cool to know uh, that AMD has taken a very strong interest in making sure that you guys are serving the square body market well. So really appreciate you guys. Thanks yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Yes, you keep watching these guys. They do some great stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. When you run out of gas on your way to see your friends over at AMD, this is what it sort of boils down to. 
thankfully, Huck, my friend at AMD, had a gas can and took us to the gas station. So now I'm gonna use this really awesome gas tank, or gas can, I should say. Put some gas in old Sammy. Sammy the Silverado. Hey, Huck, I might need to undo this little cap right here. I didn't do, undo the vent thing. There we go. There you go. Cue the music.